Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the indefinite Gaussian integral. Indefinite integral because there are no limits of integration here and there, yeah? And we're going to do this using power series. So recall that e to the x uh, can be expressed as a power series like this. Um, it has Maclaurin series uh, equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n divided by x to the n divided by n factorial, right? Okay, cool. Um, so then we see that um, e to the uh, minus uh, x squared, right? e to the minus x squared um, could uh, have a power series that is just a modification of this power series. Specifically, it will be the sum from uh, n equals 0, n equals 0 to infinity of, um, instead of x, we'll have minus x squared um, to the power n, right? To the power n divided by um, n factorial. Okay, now, um, since what we want is the antiderivative of this, right, the integral sign right there, uh, what we'd like is to put that there and a dx right here, right? That amounts to putting an integral sign right there and a dx right here. Now, we know that uh, the integral of a sum is equal to uh, the sum of the integrals, right? Okay. Um, yeah, right, like integral um, f plus g dx is the same as uh, integral um, f dx plus integral uh, g uh, dx. And uh, these guys are just like terms like these guys, right? Like it's a bunch of terms being added in here. You can plug in n equals 0, n equals 1, and so on. I could show you that, but like you could do that on your own. It's not that complicated, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm saying is in our next move, we could write this. In our next move, we could write this. We could write that what we have here is the same as, it's the same as um, n equals 0 to infinity, n equals 0 to infinity of um, the integral, the integral of, uh, the integral of, um, and then it's going to be what? It's going to be this guy, right? Uh, and he, we can uh, simplify a bit uh, by writing this, and then x to the 2n, right, um, divided by, it could be a she, I don't know. Um, okay, divided by um, n factorial, right, divided by n factorial, and then times dx, right? Okay, times dx. Ah, that dx is supposed to be in blue. My bad, y'all. Okay, so dx right here, right? Okay, all right, so then what we'll have is uh, going to be uh, the sum from uh, n equals 0 to infinity of, of what's the general antiderivative with the n's here? It's going to be negative uh, 1 to the n. Think about why we won't add uh, 1 to this power n, like and uh, yeah, like you can think about it like, you know, through an example of like if you had minus x and then plus um, 2x squared uh, and you decided to integrate, is that going to change the signs in front of these terms? No, right? That's why uh, we're going to keep this guy. But these guys, we're going to do like the power rule for antiderivatives. So we're going to get x to the power uh, 2n plus 1 and then divided by, divided by, uh, we formerly had, uh, that was red, um, just like one of Matt's guys. Um, okay, so divided by, uh, we still have our n factorial, but then, you know, the power rule for deriv for dif integration, sorry, y'all, <laughs> not differentiation, but for integration, right, we're integrating. The power rule says add 1 to the power and then divide by that new power, that new power being um, 2n plus 1. So we have to divide by 2n plus 1 here, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, this here now is is um, this guy here. Ah, my arrowing, poor. This guy here, right? This guy here is that. Uh, so this is uh, the uh, general antiderivative that we were seeking. 